The Wood Memorial Mat Aqueduct. I, I don't see any secretariats in there or any shams, maybe not even any angle lights, Matt. But we do have enticed as uh, probably a clear favorite, the uh, impressive winner of the Gotham and several other horses who will try to be getting big Kentucky Derby points in the wood. Matt, I want to beat this heavy favorite in the wood. How about you? Yeah, that's my feeling too, Brian. He's already got 63 points. He's in the, he's in the Derby field already. And, and with the shuffling of the Baffert horses, when the wood lost Salamini and got, um, uh, restoring hope instead, um, it, it's going to make the Kieran McLaughlin enticed, uh, uh, who won the Gotham, the last, uh, the previous stop on the Derby trail in New York, going to make that horse a big favorite. And, and I wasn't that wowed by his performance in there and, and he doesn't have to win this race. So, uh, I'm going to try and beat him in there. Um, uh, We've got Restored Hope in there from Baffert, who um, broke his maiden in early February in one of those restricted maiden races they've been doing at Santa Anita for um, homebreds or horses sold for less than $100,000. So um, people like that horse, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. Pletcher has two possible in there in Marconi who didn't run very well in the Fountain of Youth, but that's not a surprise, Brian. He, he, Gulfstream is not the kind of track for that big uh, uh, tappet who likes to come from behind. He's done his best run, running at Aqueduct, and he's going to be back at Aqueduct. So he'll be a horse to rat, watch. And Vino Rosso is also possible uh, for Pletcher after winning his first two starts. And then... Uh, I guess being a little disappointing in his two runs at Tampa Bay Downs, but hey, Pletcher's loading up the gate at in Kentucky. Um, I wouldn't discount either one of those horses. Absolutely, Matt. And Tice, now he's the Kentucky Jockey Club and the Gotham winner, a deserving favorite here, folks. I am. Uh, I'm going to try to beat him here as well, though. I think. Uh, I think he's uh, he's not quite uh, the horse that horses like Audible and. And certainly both Doro and Magna Moon and Mendelssohn and Justify probably are. So uh, I'm going to try to beat that favorite. Restoring Hope, I think, is a good option. I imagine he'll get bet a little bit. Uh, he's kind of had a little bit of a strange schedule with only that one race uh, a good two months ago. But uh, as you said, uh, the Sun of Giants Causeway is well regarded out there. And uh, I don't think Baffert would send him out here unless he really thought he had a good shot. So Restoring Hope is one of the ones. Another similar one, I think, is uh, King Zachary, the son of Perlin out of the Dale Romans barn. Uh, he's just like Restoring Hope. He's getting better with every start. If, you, if you've seen his last two races at Gulfstream Park, he's obviously a cult with talent and an improving cult. And uh, Romans, uh, like he did with the Philly coach rocks the other day in the Gulfstream Park Oaks, uh, gets horses good this time of year. So I think King Zachary uh, could be another one, just like Restoring Hope coming out of Maiden Company to run a big race in here. And I do think Marconi is going to run a much improved race. I don't know if he wins. He, he, he hasn't won a lot in his, in his uh, young career so far, but I think he's going to run a much better race for the reasons you said that the fountain of youth wasn't his type of race or type of racetrack at all. Any, any past horses to be fifth in there, but I think, uh, I think you're going to see the real Marconi on Saturday. So I'd like to like to play Marconi with those two maiden winners, restoring hope and King Zachary and hope that uh, Enticed is actually out of the exacta. That'll be my play in the Wood Memorial, Matt. That sounds good. We think we can bet that from uh, Keeneland, huh? Oh, we'll be betting that. Don't worry about that. We didn't even mention Forenzi Fire, but I think uh, I, I think in the last few, he's uh, looked maybe just a shade below and, and, and maybe better at distances shorter than nine furlongs. Um, yeah, those are the ones I like in the Wood, Matt. 